Hey guys, it's Technology Nerd here, and today we'll be reviewing the Logitech G510's uh, keyboard. Uh, this is the new Logitech 510 from Logitech. Uh, they used to have an old G series that a lot of people used, and you probably have heard the 510's before. But this series over here is a little bit different because they kind of had a redesign. They had a new coating that okay, you know stick to the keyboard. Um, but I've been using it for the past week and actually I've been playing World of Tanks, which is this free online uh, game, you could say, um, shooter kind of game, online game, and it's pretty fun. Um, so first what I want to talk about is of course uh, the technology that they put into it, the non-stick uh, coding that they put on it. So over here, you know, when you're using, you're typing away, you have your palms on the palm rest here, usually it gets stuck to the keyboard. But with this one, you if you, even if you sweat where you're gaming, this it does not stick. It doesn't even leave fingerprints. You can even look at the keys. I've been using this for a week. There's no fingerprints anywhere. Not even on this glossy surface right here. Um, right now, as you can actually see, my back lights are on. Uh, I didn't do the video lighting just because of this backlight right here. I kind of, if I put the video light on, you wouldn't be able to see the backlights. For right now, it seems like good enough lighting anyways. So I'm just gonna go over a couple things here. I'm just gonna move this over a little. So first we have the 18 profile keys. Six, six, and six, which make 18. And you have the different, actually, it's even more than 18, because you can have M1, M2, M3 setup. And I have it set to different colors uh, for each setup. So right now it's on the default profile. For each profile, you can set different G keys. Um, since this is default, there is no G key set. But m games, most games actually, have profiles already set up for the 510. You can get it out of the Logitech Profiler, which I'm going to show you that right now. It's actually the application that you can download off download off Logitech's website for the profile keys and change the color of your keyboard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move this over to the side just a tad. And I'm gonna look up at the monitor right now. Let me close out of this. Had TeamSpeak open. I was actually playing World of Tanks. I actually still have it on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open up the Logitech gaming software. So here we, the Logitech uh, keyboard pretty much shows up. And or from here you can click on the screen to modify the applets that uh, are on the screen. So actually I have some custom applets right now. Some, some applications have an applet for um, the G510, like Core Temp, or there's a Skype one you can download. TeamSpeak has one, MSI, Afterburner, all these different things um, that you can just add on there. Now some of them don't work because they were older ones. World of Tanks, which I'm playing right now, has its own applet. It shows like the stats of your tank on the actual keyboard. So I'm gonna actually lower this and show you what I mean. Just gonna zoom in here. So right now I have the clock running. If I push this button right here, I can uh, switch to different applets. This is pretty much how much how hot my uh, processor is, what speeds the fan are running at. That's the core temp one. We have the profile selector, which I did not push. We have the profile selector right here. So these are all the games they find profiles for it. The LCD clock, the countdown timer, RSS reader, which I have set to my website, CNN and Engadget. Performance monitor, uh, this is really a pretty simple performance monitor, how much RAM is being used, how much CP is being used. The TeamSpeak uh, 3 applet, World of Tanks, of course. And just the ones that are Logitech's come with it. except the G-Series, Logitech LCD clock, all those, they come with it, and the other ones are added by third-party applications, which a community of people can set up. So we're gonna go back up here to the 
gaming software. And then just gonna back out of this, back to home. So you have another option here, your colors of your keyboard. So you can just rotate this dial to change the color of the keyboard. Right now I have it set as a complete red on the M1. Each different profile can have its own color set for it. So M2 I have it white and M3 I have it totally green. Now if you switch over to like a Dirt 3 profile, I made it the theme color of the game. So it would be green keyboard and you can have different colors for different profiles. And this is how you pretty much change it. You can use the wheel to rotate it to any color you like and the keyboard will change live with how you rotate it. Or you can just set the colors on the slider here if you know the exact RGB value. Which what I had before is red so it's just 255 on red. And we're going to go back here. Over here, oops, I just went back to applets. Go back to home. Now, if you click on this right here, the profile keys, you can set your profile keys for each profile. The default profile has no profile keys, unless you want profile keys. But if you say Dirt 3, they have all the profile keys written. All you have to do is copy them over into where you want to put them. But as you can see on the side here is accelerate. There is brake, reverse, change camera, e-brake, lock brake. So it comes with its own set of profiles, our own set of keys already for the profile keys. So if we go back home, you notice this profiles to go icon down here. And pretty much the keyboard can store its own um, profiles. So if you take it to a friend's house uh, and they have the gaming software, you could upload it right to their computer. It saves the profiles right on the keyboard. So even to take it to a LAN party using a different computer, you don't have to install the gaming software. You have it right on your keyboard. So just a couple more things I want to go over on the keyboard down here. So we have, I'm just going to do a pan over a little bit. Over here we have the scroller for the volume, which I think is kind of cool. It's nice and easy just to adjust the volume. It goes in increments of two. Uh, you can't go to like 51, it goes 52, 54. I notice on Windows 8 anyways. So that's a pretty cool, you can just mute it flat out. Your media keys, which I found very useful if you want to play, stop, fast forward, rewind, music. You can shut off all the colors, all the backlighting, just by pushing this button right here. Like if you're in the daytime now, you can keep it off, but for the purpose of the video, and for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna keep it on. We have the microphone and the headset plugs in the back, which I'm using the G230s um, on right now, and I'm gonna do a review video on that shortly. But you can mute just the mic, you can mute just the headset, you can mute both if you want to. So if you're, in, if you're talking to someone, you say using TeamSpeak, just push these buttons and it'll mute them both. And it's pretty interesting. Uh, also another thing I just want to talk about is this little switch right here, that one with the little game pad on it. So pretty much when you don't have that switched on, your Windows buttons work. Your Windows buttons work, so bring up the start menu and all that. But when you have the switched on, your Windows button will be ineffective, it won't do anything. That's for people just who touch it by accident. Because you know when you touch it by accident, um, your whole game quits out if you're in full screen, so you don't want that happening. So it's definitely a useful little thing. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll post links to buy this, well not buy it, pre-order, because it's not out yet. Pre-order this below. Um, be sure to check out the review video on the G230 headsets also, which should be posted below also. So thanks for watching, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and have a good one.